All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this morning, doing something I should have done, I don't know, a few days ago. I just haven't got to it. Is I want to attach these posts and uh, two of these posts that sit on these concrete 10 by 10 piers. And I want to uh, put the plates on. It's a quick job, but it, uh, I've been busy doing other things. So I put on this ice and water shield just as a moisture barrier between um, the concrete and the oak. But these plates go just like that. And uh, then I've got to drill through and hopefully get to the other side. <laughs> a drill from one side and drill from the other side. But I wanted to get these on. I just, it's one of those things I haven't gotten around to. So, I'm getting around to it today because it's supposed to be, I guess it's supposed to be scattered showers. And I don't want to get all that, all those tools out here and then have an issue. So, this post actually needs to go that way slightly. Um... To make it even so uh, let me get a board in here and i'll show you my quick and dirty method of i don't think a sledgehammer i'll try the sledgehammer first let's see i think that's actually close enough i'm not too worried about some dents on this stuff if it was pine it would really it would really dent it up bad but uh, i mean this really is a barn you got to keep that in mind it's just a barn uh hold on a second all right to give me the best chance of drilling through here i can only drill halfway from either side is i uh, i'm gonna plumb these up there's a little bit yeah. I guess I have to loosen these up a little bit. There's a little bit of play in these straps. Okay, hopefully there's enough to get me, get them to be kind of plumb. Yeah, I'll do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll drill. All right, there's that. So I don't want to try attempt to drill all the way through because the, the odds are pretty slim that I'm actually going to get to the holes on the other side. So I'm going to drill uh, halfway from either side. The drill bit I have is just will drill just over five inches. So we'll see. I may have to go get a longer drill bit. So let me drill this side first. batteries dead. Aren't I lucky? This battery probably won't make it either.
All right, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna put the nut on the end of the threaded rod so I don't mess up the threads. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's do the lower one. And it should go through. All right, we're gonna try and uh, get this one to go through. Oh, look at that came right through after a little struggle <laughs> I guess it's always a little bit of a struggle all right we'll get this one bolted on and then we'll on to the second post all right that's that um, uh, hold on so that should stop any uplifting from on that post and keep it centered. I'm sure it doesn't meet California earthquake standards, but that pier's got rebar in it and those half inch bolts go all the way through. So I'm gonna do that one. And these over here, they don't have any, oh, hold on. These don't have anything holding them down. The ones on the outside of the building will be tied to uh, that plate, which is bolted to the, with anchor bolts. But, you know, I think in a very, in a, hur in a hurricane or an earthquake, uh, there probably aren't any guarantees with this. So, I don't know. I'm just, doing what I can it's what seems appropriate for here in Maine and that should hold that in place <laughs> at least those will stay in place all right um, I'm gonna do the other one I'll do a quick uh, shot of it when it's all done so you don't have to see the struggling and then that's it for these posts all right I got uh, all the four straps in place they're all bolted all the way through and I think they look pretty good. And that makes me feel good that these posts are going to stay exactly where they are. So, that's just another job done. Of course, there was a little bit of struggle. Can't do a job without some struggle. <laughs> All right. Um, it's supposed to rain today, but I'm going to get... The uh, plan is to get all of these beams in on the floor here ready for tomorrow to start working on more more uh, post and beam stuff we're also uh <clears throat> hold on a second here we're also uh doing another starting another batch of hay tomorrow so i don't know how much i'll get done on this stuff but i want to get it all prepped and ready to go and um looking forward to uh starting on that section so keep watching there's more to come